When you get an invitation to do a signing, in this example, we're going to look at disclosures. You're going to receive this email from your agent and click on Start Signing. Once you click on Start Signing, the program called Off and Assign will pop up and you will have to accept the terms of their agreement. On this disclosure, you're going to start answering yes or no on the questions. The first question is, have you occupied the property in the last 12 months? If that is no, you're going to have to explain why you have not. Either you're a landlord or you've bought a previous home, just haven't sold this one, et cetera. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and mark yes. You cannot answer yes and no on the same question or NA. It's only going to let you answer one of those. So you're going to read each question carefully and select the correct response. Once you have completed all of those answers, you're gonna scroll down to this area. And if you've marked any of yes or NA other than the question one, you need to explain that here. And in this example, I marked NA for well and fireplace. So I'm gonna just put no well, no fireplace. Now's the point where I'll actually start signing. So I'm gonna click the signing box. At this point, I can select a different font or I can actually draw my signature. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it with that font. Um, as a seller, I would recommend you mark, remember my signing, remember my signature for future signing. So it'll always be signed the same. Um, so I'll leave that there and set the signature. Just click checking the boxes. We're now to the radon disclosure. So on this one, again, you need to re read each question, A, B, C, and D say which is correct. So A is there are elevated radon concentrations to be known and be present within the dwelling. That's not a true statement. So I'm going to click this box and decline initialing it. I don't have any reports. So I'm going to click this box and decline it. Now, if those two were true, you do know of elevated radon and you have reports and you would accept those initials. But since I have none on the C and D, I'm going to accept initialing those two to mark that I have no knowledge and I have no reports. Then it's ready for me to sign the paper. Now the next one is lead-based paint, if that's applicable to your property. I have to initial both A and B by just clicking. It's a mandatory initial. But then I have to select, do I know about lead-based paint and what is it? Or I have no knowledge. I'm gonna select that one. If I know about it, I should have reports and I provided those or I'm going to initial it and I have no reports and now it's ready for my signature. Once all those fields have been done, you're going to get this pop-up box and you just need to make sure you hit complete signing.